I bet you were not expecting to see me looking like this considering the title of this video, but I wanted to hop on here because I filmed this vlog when Mike and I went to Greece back in September. So this is a little bit over a year old, but I never got a chance to upload it. And to be honest, when Mike and I went to Greece, I really wasn't vlogging a lot at the time. And I get a little shy, I'm not gonna lie. I get shy, I don't like filming in front of other people. And you know, Mike and I were on our honeymoon, I didn't wanna be invasive and I just wanted to enjoy and be in the moment. While I'm very excited to share this vlog, there's not a lot of like one-on-one -on -one speaking in this vlog it's a lot of scenery so if you're someone that's interested in going to Santorini or going to Mykonos or going to Paros all islands in Greece right then I think you'll really enjoy this you'll get a little bit of insight into each city and kind of just a little bit of insight into our honeymoon but I hope you guys enjoy if you do leave it a thumbs up I'm very excited to kind of like reminisce this was a little bit over a year ago and I haven't watched the footage since so let's go ahead and hop into our honeymoon vlog. Look at the 
this guy. Look, he's gonna eat our bread. Bam. Look at him, he's on the table. I... <laughs> Not shy at all. No, he doesn't care. Speak from New Jersey. <gasps> all right, guys, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> we thought they were friendly. They're just here for the food. You know. Look at this Grecian man I picked up on the streets. What's your Grecian name? Apollo. Cheers. Grandma's yogurt. It looks, look at that. It looks delicious. That looks really good. Mm, yummy. Yummy. Oh wow. Sorry. Are you excited to go to Mykonos? Yep, super excited to go to I'm excited. We just got to our room in Mykonos. What are you saying yes about? Well, oh, wow, that's saying yes about the free upgrade. The free upgrade. Oh, look at this shower. And it has a shower head. You could fit like nine people in the shower. Wow. So much closet space. Well, we're gonna have to get dressed up to, to hang out here. Wow, what a view. Can we go outside? How do I not break this though? I already broke it. No, it was like that. Yeah, okay. I think that's locked, yeah, yeah. have my, excuse me, can you please move? Oh, I'm trying to get a nice video of everything. This is where I'm gonna have my coffee every day. What a view. Pretty crazy. <laughs> We go this way. I oh, know, I see. We can get a massage. 
watch. I'm taking a video now of you and your necklace and your hot bod. Why are you embarrassed? Watch your hair. Oh. <laughs> what? That was hilarious. If I fell? Yeah. Oh my god, I almost fell the other day when I was FaceTiming my sister. I almost bit it in the pool in San Francisco. I'm good. I'm like a cat. I don't like the water. Maybe later. I like watching you in the water though. What a vibe. In his Grecian pants. Sir, sir, what are you wearing? Sir, what are you wearing? Amazon. Amazon? Those pants are Amazon? So chic. Well, do we think they're gonna let us in? I think so. Look at us. We're so good looking. Who wouldn't let us in? They let you in. I don't know about me. They would look at that necklace. They let you in with that necklace. I've never seen a peacock in the wild. I've only seen a peacock at a zoo. He does. He's looking right at me. I'm a little scared. He's cute though. Hottie in the distance. This man keeps coming by. I'm gonna try to get it on video the next time. And I hope that you can hear me. But this man keeps coming up to Mike and I and asking us who's sitting in front of us. 
only to then use their sunscreen that's sitting on their day bed. And he's been using it like every 10 minutes he comes back to apply more. I checked it out, it's only SPF 15. You need at least 30, my friends, PSA. Um, very weird though, and he's also wearing a $250 bathing suit. Which I know, because Mike wanted to buy that bathing suit, and then we were like, absolutely not, not spending that much on a bathing suit. So like, my dude, buy some sunscreen. I'm gonna see if I can get it on film though. Pretty, pretty funny. But also, I'd be really pissed off if someone was using my sunscreen while I was gone, because I reapply. I am a SPF monster. Didn't take the sunscreen in front of us, but now he went all the way over there and asked somebody else for sunscreen and he's reapplying over there. After stealing from the table in front of the table. After, the yeah, after stealing sure this sunscreen on the day bed right there. It's a sunscreen bandit, I'd say. <laughs> so like if this man ever sees this video, just know that we see you. <laughs> sunscreen bandit. Sunscreen bandit. There's my handsome guy.
We just got to Paros. This is our hotel. Number 602. Let's see if anyone's home. Hey, welcome to my temporary Paros crib. Come on in. Your MTV crib. Here's our bathroom. <gasps> Ooh, what a nice bathroom. I love the big sink. It's got a shower head. Ooh. I love the gold details. Yeah, we put a lot of work into that. Put a lot of work into this. I like this little sitting area when you come in. All right, yeah, you have a little sitting area. I'm not doing so a cute. Job. No, you're doing an awful job. We have the flowers to change the flowers once a season. Once a season. This is the guest suite. Yes, it's own bathroom. How oh, are you? You're going very fast. Sorry. This is very unprofessional MTV Cribs. Don't walk into the door. I won't. <laughs> well, I like this bathroom I like better. I like this bathroom better too. Yeah. Okay, well, we can shower in this bathroom. Oh, I love the light. And then an exit on the other side. An escape exit. Oh, look at the view. Come back through. Let's come back through. Wow. Guess me. Got a lot of real seat. Yeah, the good thing about Greek at the end, Greece at the end of the season. Yes. Little sitting here. <gasps> Let's see the little. Oh, so cute. Is that you can get? How romantic. Good deals on a lot bigger rooms because no one's here. Oh, it's so nice out here. Come on, I'll show you the master suite. Ooh. On rooms. Of the worst to keep off. Oh, that's true. That is something that you would worry about. This is the master suite. Ooh, ah. I love how bright and airy it is. Yeah, bright and airy. Isn't what a nice bed. And then we have the master terrace. With Take us to the terrace. With bay views. <gasps> love the bay view. Ah, so pretty. Wow, this is so nice. So we did an MTV crib the other rooms. Mm. We should have done it for everyone. Yeah. Next time. Our next European summer vacation. All right, thanks for the tour. Thanks for stopping by. Now get out. Oh. Let's let it pop. It's a screw. Oh, what a letdown. Damn. Whatever gets the job done. Should we boomerang it? Yeah. I'll boomerang while you video. Sure. Why don't we do it this way so we get the water behind us? Come out. This is how we boomerang all of our come drinks. Up, come up here. It's <laughs> always complicated. One. Two, three. Yamas. Was it good? No. It was terrible. Let's see. First one's always terrible. The first one's always you're terrible. You're shooting that way and I'm shooting this way. No, I'm just getting the production. Perfect, perfect. One, two, three. I no missed. Miss. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. You're very aggressive. No. Okay. <laughs> very, very aggressive. Do it again. One, two. Three. You always go up with yours and I just go That's straight. Bad one. Should I go up? No, I'm just trying to like, I don't know. One, two, three. No. Watch me. No, that, I wasn't even moving. And you were just jamming it. I'm sorry. It's going to be warm by the time we drink it. One, two, three. Oh, we got it that time. Good? Yeah. That's yeah, the I'll show everybody. Insert the boomy. I got tattoos last night, yeah. which you filmed a bit of me getting tattoos, and I think I filmed a bit of you getting your one tattoo. Right. There it is. Wow, the star. 
What a star. How do you feel about it? Because you weren't feeling it last night well, when you I got it. I wanted to get it over here. Right. And, but it was like all squished up. It looked like a collapsing star. Yeah, which you weren't happy about, which so I get. We moved it, so this really wasn't a planned location. But it came out pretty good, I think. I have to say, I'm very proud of you because little... in the moment, I feel like you totally won it. And I was like, wow, this yeah, is a... It was completely un-Mike like. This is a proud moment for Mike. Well, for me. For you. For it me. was a proud moment for me, for you. Because of my spontaneity. And then tell them about your cross, that what happened with your cross. Well, so I was going to get a We cross. were both getting a cross and a star. Right. And I went first. Right. As I usually do, because I can't watch other people get it first, because I get nervous. Right. So I got mine, and then... I, I got my star. You got the star. Which was good that they did the star first, because if you put the cross on me first, I wouldn't have gotten either. So the star... You wouldn't have gone either. Yeah, okay. because the star is supposed to go under my watch pants. Oh, the cross, you mean. Sorry, the cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I can have it... Did you take a picture of the cross? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we're going to put that in here so everyone can see and what the cross looked like. it was just, like, like, way thick and, like... It, it was, was, like, nothing, the girthy Yeah, cross. it was, like, nothing like I wanted. Yeah. So after he drew it and moved it, it just was not working for me, and I, I pulled the eject button... I pulled the eject cord. Yeah, I think we both pulled the eject cord. Yeah. I was like, let's just not, you it know. Wasn't the, it wasn't happening. But then he was mad. Yeah, he was annoyed he that was we mad. pulled the cord on the second tattoo. But me. I mean, it's permanent. Oh, no, for sure. So let's show them mine, speaking of permanent things. Go ahead, show them yours. Okay. It's faded. It's a faded star because I don't think he went deep enough in the corner. This corner. Can can you well, show them the corner? I can't use both of my hands. Well, let's be clear because when you first got done, it looked really good. Okay. And so when this corner is a little off. faded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looked really good. There we go. I'm, so this corner is faded. I don't think you went deep enough. But it looked really good when it was wrapped. And then I said to you, which was the end of it all for me, I think I jinxed myself because you were like, oh, I feel good about it. And I was like, I feel good that you feel good about it. But sometimes when you unwrap it, it could, look worse. it could look worse. And yours looked totally fine. And then I unwrap mine and immediately was like, eject. Right. But right now, but then oh, you good. got your other one. Yeah, but then I got this one. Oh, really well. Which I think this one came out pretty well. Yeah. So I got two. And now here's my wrist. We got a lot of friends on the wrist. We have four on this wrist. And then I'm going to get the star fixed eventually. Then, it's the Star d'Italia, right. which is the most um, ancient symbol of Italy. According to the internet. According to the internet. <laughs> right. According to the internet. And it was created during, the, during ancient Greece. So... Wait, wait, wait. How can an Italian star be created during ancient I don't ancient know. Greece? That's what I read. Or maybe we should stop the history lesson here until we figure it out for sure. Well, it dates back to ancient Greece. Okay, maybe that's a little... That's what it is. I'm so sorry. Okay. But it symbolizes Italy flourishing. Like the, you know, what's, what's a good word for that? You're good at dictionary words. I'm not. Speechless. Speechless? I'm speechless. <laughs> You're speechless. Okay. Yeah, so that's the story of it all. And can't wait for our next spontaneous tattoo. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. let's just enjoy this wine. I think that was my last one. Your last one forever? My last spontaneous one. Oh. Well, don't want to tempt it me. should be my last one, but it probably won't be my last one. Later, we're going to jump from building to building. Like Spider-Man? Yeah. Ready? Am I on? Yeah, you're on. So in this box... I'm scared. What's in there? It's Lord Varslav. Lord Varslav? Yeah. 13th century vampire. <gasps> he comes out at night. Ah! He's trying to get out now. <laughs> the Grecian Christmas tree. The Christmas tree. The Christmas tree. Cranker. Let's go. Off we go. First night in Paros. And we're going to have... A good time, yeah. <laughs> it's so pretty here. We haven't seen a cat yet, though. It's my only complaint. It's prettier in real life. 
first one. Because Mike loves cats. We're documenting the kittens for him. This one is so cute. Oh my god, look at them. I'm not gonna bother you because you're eating, but they're so cute. Oh my god, cats everywhere. Look at this guy. Oh. I'm a scaredy cats. Hello! Look, he's so excited about it. What a moment. Oh, I love it. It's in the trash. Do you remember the name of this restaurant that we're at? Carino. Carina? Carino. Carino. The Greek salad looks really good. Mm -hmm. They both look delicious. But this is the traditional pasta. That's what they said, yeah. Of paros with mushrooms, truffle, parmesan cheese, I think. And this looks delicious. Oh my god. Yum, yum, yum. This is what we have succumbed to because we can no longer hang. So we're drinking gunpowder tea, which is good for many things. Mike just listed them all, and I don't remember a single thing. It's good for your immune system. Hotel. And it's called gunpowder because the leaves are shaped like pellets, right? That's what they said. That's what they said. It's huge. Try it for us. How do you eat this? I don't know. Got a knife? <laughs> supposed to use like a fork and a knife and eat it like you would like an omelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. I mean, I'm not eating this whole thing. Obviously, you're having some. I'll try it. Mm. Thoughts? Very good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm, I love me some capers. What'd you get? Spring rolls? Veggie spring rolls. Veggie spring rolls? Mm -hmm. And a deadly pina colada. And a watery bloody that I love. Cat, we're gonna take him home. I actually think it's a girl. I was gonna say, how do you know if it's a boy? I think it's a girl, but look how cute. Right, come on, come on. 